More aero mods for the Supra. Today, we are putting on canards. Through lack of trust of my ability to get things done within a certain time frame, and the fact that I've got a track day coming up here very soon, actually this Sunday, uh, we're gonna be heading to Sonoma. I've already got the rear GT wing on the Supra. It's ready to go. One thing I've noticed since installing the wing, uh, just in my initial road testing, is uh, now the rear end definitely feels more stable, but now the car has a, a little bit of a tendency uh, to push during uh, high speed turns. So, in, in a lot of cases, for street purposes, it's probably not a bad thing. Uh, for the average individual, dealing with understeer is easier to deal with than dealing with oversteer. So the fact that the rear is now more stabilized and there's less oversteer is not a bad thing necessarily for street. But on the track, I don't want that high speed push because we're going for lap times and I'm looking for rotation. The difference is I'm looking for controlled rotation and without the rear wing, uh, it's a little bit sketchy without that on there and the, the rotation is definitely there, but it's it's not stable. So the rear so the rear wing takes care of that. Now my problem is for track purposes, I don't have enough downforce in the front. Now I've got a front splitter kit already here. Uh, but I'm not going to have enough time to install it before track day. I just, you know, cutting into bumpers and, you know, drilling into, you know, it's just, it's time consuming. I, I'm sure I can do it, but it would track day just around the corner. I didn't want to start it and then not finish it. So today we're going to do a very, very simple and very cool looking mod. We're installing dive planes. So Varus Engineering, I'm going with Varus everything for aero mods. So we got the GT wing from Varus. Now we're doing the canards. So very simple uh, design. All of these things are designed to work in conjunction with the rest of their aero bits. You're gonna hear me say that a lot as you go through these install videos. Um, this should be a very, very straightforward install. It's held on with nothing more than double-sided double sticky tape by 3M, albeit very strong. But uh, we're gonna put that to the test because not only is it just sticky tape, um, I used dive planes on my Type R and those were drilled into the bumper. These are just stuck on. It should be okay, except the one thing I'm worried about is my clear bra. Not sure if you guys can see the edge there, but I've got a clear bra on the front of my car. Uh, you know, the front bumper, the hood, the fender, the side cap, you know, so normally the dive plane would go directly onto the paint here. And even that, I would have my you know, kind of doubts about, but now this is going on top of the clear coat or on top of the clear bra, which is then on top of the paint. So there's a layer in between where it normally sticks to, um, you know, thus me questioning the effectiveness of it. So I guess at the end of the day, we're gonna find out, right? I'm gonna get these things installed. I'll show you guys how to install them. Should be very, very simple, very quick. And then uh, we'll just see how they hold up on track day this Sunday. So first, per the instructions, I wipe down, well, I washed the car yesterday, but then I wipe down the area with some alcohol. Uh, they have a 50-50 mix, which this is about approximately, I've diluted this with about 50-50 water and alcohol. And then um, there's a template. Varus is really good about using templates. So here's a template. 
and it's very specific where the bumper line is. So we're gonna go ahead and get this cut out and then do the same thing we did last time, tape it on to where the install is gonna happen and then I'll show you what that looks like. All right, template is on the car. Uh, it took a bit of time to cut out all the edges perfectly. Wanted to make sure I was being as precise as possible. You can't just willy-nilly throw these dive planes on at any angle that you want, guys. Uh, proper bumper fitment and proper angle. This will help them work according to the way that Varus Engineering designed them to work with the rest of their aero bits. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the car. Here is the template on the car. So you can see all of the holes were cut out for what they had outlined. Um, on the cutout, before you cut all this out, you'll see a little arrow here. This tells you that this cutout is for the reflector. So it really makes it, I mean, idiot proof, really guys. And it even says like this side is the bumper line it outlines everything for you. There's really no guesswork involved here. Uh, two dive planes. The larger one is on the bottom. Smaller one up top. I've gone ahead and separated the two dive planes. So this will go on the driver's side of the car. That'll go on the passenger side. And I've already kind of uh, placed them to where they're going to go on the bumper. That one going on the bottom. That one going on the top. Uh, the side that you want to mount is the So this is what it looks like the flat long side There is another curved side on the other side for uh, aerodynamic purposes It's curved so it should be pretty obvious that that side isn't what goes on the bumper So I'm going to go ahead and wipe the side down with Alcohol and then go ahead and get it on the car Those dive planes look so at home and look so perfect on the Supra. Along with the GT wing, it's, everything is just slowly coming together and I can't wait to get the other aero bits on this car. Um, I may have an independent shop. Uh, one of the guys that I've always worked with uh, do the install for the splitter for me because I just, I just want to make sure that it's done right guys. And um, I, I'm pretty sure I could figure it out, but you know, the time that it would take me and the amount of nerves and hair that I would probably lose in the process just isn't worth it. I want to have somebody who knows what they're doing do it for me. So um, who knows? I, I may try and get that done before track day, but with only a couple of days left, it would really be a time crunch. So we'll see. Now I should clarify, these dive planes they are an aerodynamic piece and they are very effective at what they do but the amount of downforce that they produce in the front of the car is very very minimal the point of the dive planes in the front is to direct air into the gt wing in the back and make the rear wing more effective 
Now, it doesn't mean that there isn't downforce from the dive planes, because there is, just not enough to really make up for the big GT wing that's now on the car. So you really do need a front splitter if you get the GT wing, if track times are your goal and lowering your lap times is your goal. If you just want it for looks, then hey, why wouldn't you want the splitter anyways, right? That piece is gonna look so badass once it's on the car. I cannot, cannot, cannot wait. So anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope some of this information was helpful to you if you are doing a similar install in your car. That's it for today. Until next time, stay hungry, stay fast, stay tuned. I'm Michael Baxi and I'm out. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out. Not setting out my own soul, but those real ones, they coming out. Oh look, who's reaching out? Old friends wanna feature now. They don't work, so they need it free. Ooh, you reaching out from the west side of that old town. But there's no show, so I go down to the...